hello guys uh, and fellow students and faculty so this is a presentation regarding the im one of the uh, subject is uh, our topic is uh, rabin crypto system which is uh, a famous cryptographical uh, system for encryption and decryption uh, our team comprises of three people which includes me manav rupani bhavya sura and chinmay teli so i'll walk you through the introduction so what is rabin crypto system so ribbon crypto system is an asymmetric encry encryption algorithm developed by michael o ribbon and named up named after him so it is based on the idea of using properties of prime numbers to create a crypto system which is relatively easy to implement and yet very secure so it works with numbers and uh, some basic steps which uh, decides the encryption and decryption process now where uh you might be wondering you haven't heard of it much where it is used and how does it work so we'll be getting to how does it work but i'll just uh, give you a brief intro of where it is used so as of now uh the ribbon crypto system is used in uh secure uh data transfer uh, processes such as online banking online payment systems and cyber security apart from that it is also used in authentication systems such as two factor authentication and uh, as an additional layer for security and it is uh, also primarily used for protecting confidential or sensitive documents moving forward uh, so these are the steps that will be explained by both uh these this is the pictorial representation of the steps which uh, mano just mentioned this might look uh, difficult for now but uh, let me walk you through the steps next slide this is the key generation algorithm uh, ribbon crypto system basically needs uh, two keys mm, with that must satisfy the condition like that must satisfy the two conditions uh, that they must be a very large prime number and second uh, they should be uh, like they should be a multiple of 3 mod 4 uh, for example 139 191 etc uh, next we what we do is we calculate our public key n by multiplying the two large prime numbers to get a, a even more larger number and we save p and q as our private key next is the encryption algorithm uh, the public key we, gen we generated in the key generation algorithm uh, we get it into the encryption algorithm then we convert the message uh, that uh, the user inputs into an ascii value then we convert it into binary and we extend the binary value with it so then we change the uh, bin the binary value obtained to a decimal value uh, like suppose m then we encrypt uh, the decimal value of the message uh, using the formula which is m square mod n that is modding it with the public key we send this uh, message to the recipient that is the encrypted message c next is the decryption algorithm the recipient uh, accepts the encrypted message c from the sender then uh, they must specify uh, two numbers with euclidean gcd such that a dot a dot private key plus b dot private key this should be one next we compute uh, uh, two more something like something uh, known as temporary keys r and s by the following formula uh, which is c into uh, p plus 1 by 4 mod p and similar for s using q after computing rns we calculate x and y using a b p q and s using the following formula which you can see here next after computing uh, x and y we then we get four roots which is x minus x y and minus y we convert them into binary and divide them in half then we uh, determine if uh, the left half and right half are same and uh, like keep one half as it is and convert other half 
into a decimal value m then we get the uh, sky character of that uh, sky value of the decimal we just converted and the resulted character gives uh, the correct message which was originally sent by the sender this algorithm may be a little complex but it is a very and hence it is very difficult to break next so this is the git uh, github repository link where our code is hosted and uh, so let me demonstrate with you with so let me demonstrate the implementation so this is so this is the small module we have implemented for our uh, for our ia so here user will enter the plain text which is the text user wants to encrypt and uh, user wants to encrypt so for now we will enter information security and after submitting uh, the uh, it uh, encrypted text is stored in the encrypted text field and at the same time decryption is also done and decrypted text is also displayed over here uh, so, and user can also co copy the encrypted text and after copying it gets it is copied to the clipboard and user can paste wherever he wants so the text tag we have used for uh, for demo for uh, de developing this module is uh, django and python so the core logic is developed in python and and django it, django supports django is a framework of python which which is used for website web development so we have used uh, django as a backend for our website so before concluding uh, i'd like to discuss a few key points uh, which includes the speed of the system and the advantages and disadvantages that rebin crypto system brings with itself so when talking about speed which is quite important uh, the speed of Raven crypto system depends on the size of the prime factors used for key generation. Um, just for uh, information, it uses RSA algorithm uh, in the logical backend of uh, to generate a public and private key pair for Raven. And uh, generally, the larger the prime factors uh, used, it is uh, it takes longer time to process the data. However, uh, even after such large processing. Rabin crypto system is believed to be very efficient and can usually be implemented quite quickly. Talking about advantages and disadvantages. So advantages of Rabin crypto system is it is relatively easy to implement and yet very secure. It is suitable for wide range of application scenarios and also resistant to attacks from quantum computers, which makes it a secure encryption method for the future. But uh, along with its advantages, there are also disadvantages as well. So the disadvantage uh, it has certain advantages of over symmetric algorithms, but it uses mathematical properties of square roots. Now, this may lead to a potential brute force attack as the encryption keys are relatively small, uh, such as integer numbers, and it is vulnerable to be attacked by an individual or group of attackers with large computing power. Another issue with Ribbon crypto system is its complexity. It is much more complex than other algorithms that are present and it requires much more computing power to be used properly. This makes it uh, much uh, slower for any application to you incorporate Raven crypto system. So that's it. Um, thank you for your precious time and consideration.